I think they're dead. For many, pedal kayaks are dead. Now in this video, I'm gonna tell you why that is happening. This channel, we cover all kinds of kayaks. We do crazy videos. We take them on the water, we flip them, we test motors, we test drive, we do everything here. And lately, I've been finding myself just wanting to go fishing with a motorized kayak. Not just a motorized kayak, but something with an iPilot unit on it. It just makes fishing 10,000 times way better for me. So for me, I feel like pedal drive kayaks are dead. But are they? So I'm like thinking, oh my god, Alex, you just want to fish out of a iPilot kayak. What's going on with you? Is it just you or is everybody else? So I decided to go to my community tab and I posted this question. Are pedal kayaks done for? And 74% of you said, are you crazy? Uh, maybe I'm crazy. But that's how it started, with a crazy person. And then everything just happens. About 20% of you said, motors for the win. Hey, 20%, that's a minority. 20 compared to 74? Uh, that's a small number. Now the crazy thing, the crazy thing is the same person said what is a pedal drive kayak, like they didn't know. And the funny thing is that a lot of people don't know what a pedal kayak is. When I come back from fishing, I pull over to the kayak ramp, people just go like this. What is that? Oh, you could have a bike on a kayak? Oh, I didn't know. People don't know what a pedal kayak is. At least 7% of the respondent, which is crazy. Now, pedal kayaks are dead. And let me tell you why. Motors, like motors guys, motors are killing pedal drive kayak. Like seriously, you see the hobby people spending $6,000 on a hobby 360 setup and then they spend another $3,000 on motors. Like seriously, motors are making pedal drive kayak a thing of the past. And, and what, who, who can blame them when you can put an iPilot unit on a kayak and you have spot lock and you have iPilot and, it's, and look, I, I, this is gonna happen soon. Some of you guys are gonna attack the bigger trolling motors, the one that you could connect to your fish finder and all that stuff. This is crazy, this is gonna happen. This, I may do it myself. So those units, those trolling motors with a spot lock with GPS on it and autopilot, which basically you just press a key and it takes you wherever you wanna go. That is incredible, that is game changing. Look, how do the esper, the professional anglers fish, right? Bass fishermen. They have a freaking trolling motor on the bow of their boat and they're just there using the trolling motor to move the boat around and casting it. So if they decide to fish with a trolling motor and there are hundreds of thousand dollars on the line, hey, why not us? They get a 250 Yamaha, speed it up, go to whatever spot they want to fish, drop the trolling motor, start fishing. We could do the same thing with a kayak and we don't need a pedal drive kayak for that because if you're using a pedal drive kayak, dude, you, you just, you're just sitting there. And yes, your hands are free, but you're not standing up. You're not looking for fish. You're just working out. Now, the second reason why they're dead is cost. Look, if you're going to buy a pedal drive kayak, you're going to pay 100% more than you will pay for the paddle only version. And if you just want to use that boat with a motor, why pay the extra $1,000, $1,200 or $700 depending on the model that you're getting for what? At the end of the day, you're going to be using a motor on it. So what's the point? You got motors from low budget to high budget, from iPilot units to super fast brushless motors. You got all that stuff. And guess what, guys? I got videos on all those motors. I'm gonna link some of them in the description to so go check it out. Take the Old Town 120 PDL. That boat with the drive is $2,200. And I see some people wanting to add an iPilot unit to that. That's another $1,500, so $3,700. Dude, you could do the same thing with the 120 normal, non PDL version. That is $1,000 and then you add the iPilot unit, that's $1,500. You're looking at $2,500 and you have what you wanted and you don't have to worry about the hole in the middle, which is something that we're gonna touch on. But, here's another example. I got a Shearwater 125. That kayak, you could put a pedal drive on it, right? And you could make it a pedal drive kayak. That's $600 more. So you get $1,500 for the kayak, $600 for the drive, you're looking at $2,200. But here's the thing, the one that I have, I mostly, 99.99% .99 of the time, I use it with a motor either a Bisbee in the rear, and then I pretty much plug the deck because I want a flat deck because I'm a mess and I want to have space. Or I put my iPilot unit in the front. 
that setup is incredible. I almost never take the drive and when I do take the drive, I don't even use it. It's this crazy, I know, but why? I don't even use those drives. It's, the thing with those drives is that those are based on the older pattern from Hobby and they're behind. They're behind. They're not as smooth as the new Hobby drive right now. All that stuff. Another reason why they're dead is because they're bulky and they're heavier and all this stuff. Like, for example, if you get a PDL drive, that thing is heavy, 20 pounds. They're humongous. They're hard to, tr to store. They're hard to transport. It's just a mess sometimes. And then, let's say you're fishing, you get to a spot where you need to bring the drive up because, hey, you're in shallow water. <laughs> Guess what? You're gonna have that hole in there. Now, some models do this better than the old towns. When you open the old towns, you get a, like a giant hole. For example, the native watercraft ones, you have a little, little dry well and you could cover it, but you still have something there, something in the middle that if you're fly fishing or you need an open wide deck for whatever reason, you're gonna have a problem. So it's bulkier and you have that giant hole there. <laughs> and, and if you're gonna be fishing in shallow water all the time, why even have a pedal drive kayak or, or even a motorized kayak? Like why? No? Now, you thought that this video was gonna be just me bashing on pedal drive kayaks. No, no, it's not, because I really like and enjoy pedal drive kayaks, especially the Old Town 120 video. That's a lovely kayak, and I would love to have the new Bona 5 P127, because you could put motors on it. Like, I do have all the stuff, I have the motors, I have everything, so I can make the kayak whatever I want. I I'm, I'm making this video from, like, people that maybe just wanna have the one thing. Right, they don't. They're not like me. That have twenty thousand kayaks. That have twenty thousand different motors and drive and all this stuff. Right. So let me tell you why <laughs> pedal kayaks are not dead. And let me do that here with this amazing background of my tailgate. See, people love to steal this. You know how I get them not to steal it? I, I just keep it like this. Here's why they're not dead. A lot of people don't want to deal with motors. They don't want to deal with wire. They don't want to deal with batteries. But, dude, do yourself a favor and go to Amp Outdoors and get yourself an amazing lithium battery. Look, even if you don't use a motor, you maybe probably have a fish finder. So go there and buy yourself a lithium battery and use coupon code ALIAS5. And why not get a bigger battery? You don't know if power goes out or you go camping. Get one of those 35 ad lithium batteries. Use my code ALIAS5, gonna save you 5% and those batteries are amazing. I've been using them for two years. I could go on and on, but let's get back to this video. So. The truth is, a lot of people don't want to deal with the motors, with registration. A lot of you tell me all the time that the reason why you don't have a motorized car is because you don't want to register it. So that's the thing. To me, registration is not a big deal because it's only, I got like two kayaks registered because I use them all the time. And that is like, what, like $25 a year, not even. So not a, it's not a big deal for me, but it may be for you because whatever reason. Another reason is in some places, they don't allow any motors of any kind. So if you fish water that are ultra protected, that you even have to wash your kayak before you get it in there, or when you get it out, some places, those places will definitely not allow you to use a motorized anything. So a pedal drive kayak will be a good idea. But the problem that I have with that is that Dude, pedal drive kayaks, some of them are faster and stronger than a motorized kayak. And that drive, it doesn't matter if it's human power or electrical power, that drive is strong and it breaks through things. So, you know, I don't, I don't understand that, but whatever. And it brings me to the ultimate stupid thing ever. Some tournaments still don't allow you to fish out of a motorized kayak. And I'm pissed about that. You know why? Because Basically, they're losing money by not allowing motorized sponsors or motors, whatever. But also, they're stopping people from enjoying the great outdoors and the tournaments. You got a lot of people that are disabled or they have some sort of back issue or something like that that they cannot be on the water for a long time because they can't. They can't paddle. They can't pedal. They need a motor and they cannot enter the tournament because you don't like motors. done here oh wait uh, I can't live like this right I can't live mad so if you want to see a full video why pedal kayaks are amazing and why you should buy one go and watch it right here